Hi. Also, uh, one other note I forgot to mention. Um, by just simply saying that they're sexing up results or the like, um, is uh, uh, because of the fact that they'd be out of a job if they weren't able to prove anything. Um, in the relation to the Kostler Parapsychological Unit, the people who are uh, generally in charge of the Gansfeld right now, that's actually erroneous for one simple reason. If you read the home webpage of the Kostler Parapsycholo Parapsychology Unit, they're not only interested in pursuing the so-called Psi Hypothesis, they're uh, one of the other major areas of their research is also in trying to figure out why people believe in Psi and also figure out what sort of deception causes people to believe in Psi, i.e., um, you know, trying to learn the, um, you know, i.e., trying to learn further about what could be just simple delusion and the like or, um, you know, what actual factors in the human brain could cause uh, possible Psi experiences which aren't in fact Psi at all. So, effectively, um, not only, uh, again, as I said, it's a straw man attack, and by just simply saying that they're sexing up results just to get funding on that um, is completely uh, erroneous and um, could even be considered um, as a borderline ad hominem attack. So, again, I am not necessarily a believer myself, but I would uh, like to suggest that um, for that video, uh, you do a, a tad more research and uh, avoid using critical thinking fallacies when trying to um, post your results up. Also, um, I should clarify a point, a point from my last video. Um, to simply say that they are using the exact same uh, flaws or different variables or other things like all the time, um, again, without going into actual full detail, um, again, the way you phrase your video, it also is a bit of a hasty generalization that all of them were hyper flawed or what have you, as they have been improving controls after every meta-analysis. Um, you know, at, or after every study. That's part of their natural improvement, but also because of the fact that they've had help and criticism from uh, mega skeptics like Ray Hyman and Richard Wiseman. They have been improving since then, you know, since their initial, uh, since the initial start of their studies back in 1977. So do bear that in mind, and uh, please don't straw man, uh, please don't use straw man attacks, and uh, please don't use the hasty generalization fall uh, fallacy. Please don't borderline with ad hominems. Uh, basically, bottom line, Please try to do a little bit more research, do a little bit more of a thorough video when doing your debunk, and uh, do try to be a tad, um, do try to be a tad more logical at actually evaluating the full data of the science, and a little bit less on resorting to critical thinking fallacies to make your point. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, just trying to help you strengthen your uh, your own, uh, just trying to help you th strengthen your argument against believers. Um, but uh, again, just so this way, uh, the data is not actually misrepresented. Um, so yeah, other than that, keep up the uh, keep it up. Tools.